Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on what time you're watching this video. This is Mr. Connolly for your weekly instalment of iMedia. Hope you're all well. Um, just before we start, let's just go through the instructions. You will need to take notes, so grab a piece of paper and a pen. Okay, I also recommend writing today's date, as well as the title of today's lesson. You may need to draw diagrams, so grab yourself a pencil, a rubber, possibly some colouring pencils. You'll be asked to pause the video when you complete a task. Okay, you must keep your notes safe because you'll use them as a revision aid for the exam, so to make sure you keep them safe, keep them in the folder. And once you've completed the assignment, I want you to take a picture of it on your phone, camera, and I want you to either e upload it to the assignment on Teams or email it to my school email address. Okay, so I can mark them. Okay, so let's begin. So today we're going to be looking at file types. Okay, so our hot question: What is the diff what different file type? Sorry, what different file formats exist, and what uses do they have? Okay, and our key objective is to record file formats for images, audio, and video understand compression techniques and be able to describe properties and limitations of file formats. Okay, so before we begin, what I would like you to do is I would like you to write today's title, which is file formats and today's date. And then I'd like you to pause the video and I'd like you to have a go at answering the four questions on your screen. So name three things that you should appear on a script what is the purpose of a mind map? Name two file formats that are for images. And can you recall or state one purpose and one use of a visualization diagram? So if you can pause the video now and have a go at those questions. Okay, so first of all, name three things that should appear on a script. Okay, a bit like Blue P, Blue Peter. Here's a, a slide I prepared earlier. So you could have had set, location, layout, C number, parenthetical. Remember that's brackets. Scene description, camera shots, stage directions, camera movement, time of day, sound effects, characters, editing reference, or also dialogue. Okay, remember when people think of scripts. The first thing that comes to, 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 to sort of your mind is dialogue, what the actors are going to say. Okay, so going back to the questions, what is a purpose of a mind map? Remember, a mind map is for the designer to generate ideas, whereas a mood board is for generating visual and media ideas, a mind map is for developing textual ideas. So your ideas written down in text. Okay. The third question, name two file formats that are for images. Okay, you should all be aware of this after studying R082. So you could have JPEG, PNG, GIF, TIFF. Okay, and there are plenty of others as well that you could recall. And then finally, state one purpose and one use of a visualization diagram. Well, the purpose is to show what your product is going to look like so it's the design of your product okay and one use of a visualization diagram is to be able to demonstrate to the client what the product's going to look like okay so they can see it and make any tweaks that they want before you actually go and create it okay so moving on so let's have a look at a previous exam question that has been on the exam to do with file formats. So if we look here, we've got the TV advert will be filled in HD, creating large file sizes for the finished product. Identify two methods that can be used to reduce the file size of this HD video. Okay. Now remember, when you have a state question, Okay, you're just you're literally getting marks for each of the words that you say. Now, a little tip I always say is try and write still with these types of questions in full sentences, because if your wording doesn't exactly match up the mark scheme, you might be able to justify your answer in your sentence. 
okay and we will get through to covering these as we go through the lesson and another question you could be asked two versions of the tv advert will be produced one for use on tv and one for use on the internet identify two video file formats and explain why each one would be you would be suitable for its intended use okay so you've got the format the file format you're going to choose then your justification for choosing it okay now if you look here it's worth four marks so for each point so whether it's the tv format or the reason you're going to get a mark okay so these are the types of questions you're going to get asked as we go through the exam and we're going to have a look at how we will answer those and the sort of content you should include so our outcomes for today's lesson you should understand the file formats available and also you need to understand what compression is and our deep learning outcome you should be able to identify which files are the most suitable for a purpose and why okay now if you're going to make progress you should be able to answer one of the past exam questions after this lesson now i i i, I think we should be able to answer the ones we include in this lesson you should be able to do that so let's move on okay so digital media devices like the iphone apple tv playstation xbox dvd and blu-ray players are required to play back okay under each image in the handout write down the file format you already know okay i'm just going to pause this a second So, what I would like you to do is I would like you to draw a little audio icon on your note sheet, draw a little video icon, and draw a little images icon, okay? You can almost do this as a mind map if you wish, and then I'd like you to list as many audio file, fa audio file formats that you can think of as many video file formats that you can think of and as many um, image file formats that you can think of okay so if you could pause the video and do that now okay so some of the common ones you could have for images, you could have JPEG, GIF, TIFF, PNG, PDF, BMP. Remember, remember, BMP stands for bitmap and it's uncompressed, so it's massive. Whereas JPEG, okay, and GIF and PNG, to a certain extent, PNG can be both actually, but JPEG and GIF are compressed file formats, so they're a lot smaller. Okay, video files, we've got MP4. We've got HD, AVI, M4V, and MOV. Now again, the HD format is uncompressed, or largely uncompressed, and then the MP4 format is compressed. So HD file formats, massive in file size, MP4 file formats, quite small in file size. Okay, and then if we look at audio, we've got MP3, we've got A, AIFF, which is more of a map format, FLAC, which is an uncompressed format, WAV, and WMA. Okay, so MP3 is compressed, small file sizes, and I always like to use WAV because it's the best one to compare it against, is uncompressed. So large file sizes with WAV, small file sizes with MP3. So I'm just okay, so. We're going to do a little task now. Sprint teams, image team captains. Okay, before we do this task, I'm just going to skip. I want to just go on to the next slide. Okay. Okay, so. I am going to get you to do a little task now, but before we can go on and do it, we need to really have an understanding of what compression is. Now, compression, okay, if you think about a piece of paper, 
nice flat piece of paper. If you're going to make it smaller, you need to crush it up and you can crush it up into a ball. Okay. And I always like to use the analogy in class that if I want to get a piece of paper to go across the room, if I try and throw a flat piece of paper, okay, it just blows in the wrong way. But if I compress it down into a ball, okay, I make it smaller and make it more agile, I can pass that file size across the room. Now, when we do compress the file size, it is important to take into account that we do make it smaller so the file size shrinks. Okay. Now, digital files can either be compressed or uncompressed. If it's uncompressed, this is the original file at its best quality. These files are usually used just for storage because they have massive file sizes. Okay. They're generally not used if the file is going to be put online. Okay, because obviously it would take a long time to download. Now, compressed files. This is a file that has been made smaller to store on things like USB memory sticks. Okay, online. They are more big quality than uncompressed files, but have a much smaller file size. Okay, now there are two different methods of compression. Compression method one is called lossless. Now, when we talk about lossless compression, we can shrink the file size down, okay, but we can always return it to its original size. So this technique uses a formula which doesn't lose any of the original data. So the quality of a lossless compression file is good. Okay, so at any point, if you compress a file using the lossless method, at any point if you want to, you can return it back to its original size. Now the second method is called lossy. Now this is where we take away certain parts of the file to make the file size smaller. Now it's good in the fact that it can make the file a lot smaller, but the negative side of a lossy compression is the fact once you've compressed it, you're stuck with it. You can't return it to its original size. Now, for example, with an MP3 file, like audio file, which is a, 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 a compressed, lossy, sorry, lossy compressed file type, what happens with an MP3 is that the, the computer actually removes the frequencies that the human ear can't hear. Okay, so it actually removes those bits of the sound wave. Okay, it obviously allows you to reduce the file size because there's quite a long lot, lot of bands that the human ear can't hear. Okay. But the more bands you remove, slowly you'll gradually start to hear it and affecting the quality of the audio file. Okay, so just to re-go over that again, if we're talking about the lossless compression method, it means that you can compress a file, but at any point you want to, you can return it to its original state. Okay, so at no point is any of the data lost. When we talk about lossy compression, Okay, we to make the file smaller, we actually remove, we delete certain parts of it. But once you've compressed it, there's no way of getting it back to its original original state. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to do a little task. Okay, using the file types that you you researched in your first task. Okay, or the ones that are on your screen now. I'd like you to on your notes to draw out the following tables, okay? And I would like you, and obviously you're gonna to have to use the internet to help you with this task. I'd like you to find the following information out about the different file types. So you should be able to do this, okay? So if you pause the video now, draw the tables out, and then if you can fill them in for me. And I will check this, I will mark it when you upload it to Teams. Okay, so you should have done that task now. We'll carry on. Okay. So our outcomes. We should be able to understand the file formats available and we should understand what compression is. Okay. We should be able to identify which files are the most suitable for a purpose and why. 
We've got a little question here that I'd like you to have a go at. Identify a suitable file format for a finished radio advert. Okay, if I was marking it, you could have MP3. You could also have WAV. Okay. Um, being brutally honest, you probably, if it's for a radio advert, you're probably going to want it to be a high quality file. So you probably, rather than go for the MP3, you'd probably be better to go for a WAV or for the FLAC format because it's uncompressed, so it's of the highest quality. Okay. Right. What I'd like you to do now is to pause the video and have a go at answering the following questions. Explain what file format means. Explain what file properties mean. So file properties. Think about what you've just done in that last task. Um, explain what limitations means. So explain what file limitations means and identify what the two types of compression are. Okay, so if you just pause the video and have a go at those questions. Okay, so the first question. Explain what file format means. Okay, it's the standard way that a digital media file is stored on a computer. Question two. Explain what properties means. The features of a file format, such as the size and quality of the file. Question three, explain what file limitations means. Something that is a restriction on what you are doing or want to do. And then the final question, identify two types of compression, lossy and lossless. Remember, lossy is where certain parts of the file are removed okay and remember with lossy once you've compressed it you can never return it to its original state and then lossless is where you take the file and you shrink it down but at any point you can return it to its original size okay so what i'd like you to do now is to pause the video and have a go at the exam question that we looked at at the start of the lesson. Okay. So it says identify two methods that can be used to reduce the file size of this HD video. Okay, we could use um, a file type with compression, so we could either save it as an MP4, okay, and use lossy compression to shrink the size of the video. Okay, or we could also use lossless compression to be able to um, shrink the file but remember we'd always be able to return it to its original size at any point so we could use either lossy or lossless compression okay and then finally it says two versions of the tv advert will be produced one for tv and one for use on the internet identify two video formats and explain why each would be suitable for its intended use. Okay, so for TV, you're going to use uncompressed HD video. Okay, and the reason is it, it needs to be high quality for use on modern TV screens. Okay, and there'd be an expectation that it would be in HD format or even 4K format now. Um, and for the internet, we'd use MP4. Okay, and the reason is because it's going to be streamed. Okay, some people might have slow internet connections, and we want it to be able to be downloaded and viewed as quickly as possible. And also, people are going to be using smaller screens. 
Okay, thank you for that lesson today. Please make sure you keep your notes safe and I will see you next time. Goodbye.